Hey everyone. Hey guys, welcome to Obscure MCU. In this episode, I'll be covering the Whiplash Armor Mark II. After a failed attempt at assassinating Tony Stark, Ivan Vanko, son of Howard Stark's former business partner Anton Vanko, was broken out of prison and brought in by weapons contractor Justin Hammer. In an effort to exploit Ivan's skills to develop armored machinery, to rival Tony Stark's Iron Man suits, which would then be presented at the upcoming Stark Expo. However, Ivan's ulterior motive was to upgrade and perfect his initial whiplash armor and cables. The whiplash armor Mark II was crafted from a fusion of the arc reactor technology, sourced from his father's old blueprints and schematics, whilst incorporating Ivan's own upgraded energy cable designs. The Whiplash Mark II armor granted Ivan remarkable superhuman abilities, including superhuman strength, bolstered agility and reflexes. And also enhanced durability, as the suit was composed of a titanium steel alloy plating, which covered him from head to toe. This allowed Ivan to withstand attacks from Iron Man and War Machine, and also stop the ex-wife missile dead in its tracks. Additionally, the suit also granted Ivan the ability to fly, as there were thrusters built into the boots, which conversely included a set of drop-down panels on its feet that could be used to anchor the suit to the ground, giving it leverage when attacking or trying to reel in an enemy. The suit also had a fully retractable helmet, which was an impressive indication of Ivan's technological prowess, as Tony Stark's Iron Man suits at this point in time were incapable of that function. Accompanying the suit were upgraded energy whips, utilizing a larger bundle of cable fibers that gave a higher energy output. Due to the armor's strength, Vanko could swing the whips faster and with more power, causing much more damage with them than before. The whips in this armor are now housed in the forearms of the suit and are attached to a motorized pulley system that extends the whips and can rapidly retract them, allowing Vanko to knock an enemy off its feet and bring them into attack up close. And finally, like the hammer drones, the Whiplash Armor Mark II had a self-destruct feature as a last resort attack. What is your favorite feature of the Whiplash Armor Mark II? Let me know in the comments and please like and subscribe for more videos coming soon. Thanks for watching.